Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, Gilberto? Daniela? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Rodrigo. How are you doing today? Eh, very tired. Very, oh. very tired. Today I have a, a complete busy day. I have two meetings. One, uh, well, one of the meetings are the is the reunion of managers and directors about two hours. Uh, totally tired. Uh, wow. and, and well, the traffic right now takes me about one hour, 10 minutes around. And I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. In, in neutral mode, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, I understand. And I'm really sorry that you have a uh, difficult well, date, but tomorrow yes. will be better than today. I hope so. Yes. But meanwhile, I'm here. You will see. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, for your commitment with this model. No problem, teacher. As we have time and life, will be here okay excellent thank you so much for uh, being here on time Gilberto Daniela and Jose Andres okay so as I said yesterday today we're going to have the midterm exam but we're going to do it at the end okay at the end of the um Class, I am going to give you 20 minutes to do it. If you are ready, uh, if you are ready, have it done. So it is okay. So you will have free that 20 minutes because I will give 20 minutes to the ones that haven't completed yet. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Let me share my presentation. And the meetings that you have, Rodrigo, are face-to-face -face or online by Teams? Uh, sorry, teacher. The meetings that you have at your job uh, are no, face -face no, no, well, par partially because the, the, the daughter of uh, one of the directors is, is here mm -hmm. because they live in, in Peru, but oh. the daughter is here. And her her father in this case is in Peru, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, some of the team may make the reunion personally, and the director is via Zoom. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Cindy. Good. So let me start. Uh, today is Tuesday, October the 24th, 2023. This is the class 15. Um, the agenda for today. So we're going to have uh, the list. Uh, well, we have the uh, lesson objective. We are going to have the meter exam. And we're going to have reading practice. So the reading that we read yesterday right we're going to have a practice today about that um 
the main lesson objective will be practice grammar. I've already studied in the unit two. That would in vocabulary also that is part of the, the meter exam. Okay. To start, we have the activity that is related to the grammar that we have been studied before. That is about bare agreement, subject bare agreement. Okay. Uh, let me see. Rodrigo, tell me yes, what would be the, the correct verb here. We live in Le Leicester. Okay. I, I uh -huh. Leicester. Yes, we live. Very good. Okay, good. Gilberto, second sentence. Work for my, I work, work for my diamond. Okay, I want. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, Daniela, are you available, Daniela? Yes. Yes, okay, complete the sentence. Mm, play. Complete, uh, yeah, the complete sentence, uh, please read it. The boys play video games. Okay, the boys uh, play. play video games. Okay, because it's brutal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cindy, are you available? Cindy? No? Gabriela? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you doing today? Fine. Fine, teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay, please read the uh, number four. Okay, the plates are on the table. Are. Okay, very good. Plural. Okay, welcome, lady. Hi, teacher. Hi. Sally okay. owns mm -hmm. a greyhound. Letter option, letter B. Letter B. Okay, really good. Third person. Okay. Rolando Danilo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi. Yes, please read number Hi, six. Mm -hmm. Okay. My sister works in in a school. Words. Okay, very good. Third person. Okay, Maria Leticia, welcome. Leti. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Please read the, the sentence. Add the correct verb. The police office officer was helpful. The police officer. Officer. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, we're going to start over again, Hilberto. I'm happy that the course is going well. Okay. The learners, brutal, right? Are happy that the course is going well. Excellent. Okay, Rodrigo. Our cousins lives. No, our cousins live in Canada. Okay, very good, because that is plural, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Daniela? Finish it. Okay, letter B. 
-hmm. Very good. Because it's third person, right? It. Okay. Excellent. So that is verb agreement, right? That you add the correct verb to uh, the subject. It depends on the subject. Okay, really good. Okay, so do you remember this reading that we were uh, read yesterday? Yes? So, the questions that I have are related to the reading. So, according to what you understood, you, using your words, okay, what is product testing for you? Volunteers? If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to use the wheels of names. Okay, let me see. Uh, if you like, teacher, I can tell the first one. Okay. Testing. Okay. Okay. If... Well, a product testing is a strat strategy, a strategy, a strat strategy, a strategy, strategy, uh, strategy mm -hmm. to increase consumer protection by checking the claims made during marketing. A strategies such as advertising, which by their nature are in the interest of the entity distributing the, the service and not necessarily in the interest of the consumer. Consumer. Okay, good, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, you have been working before, right? In this process, what is the product testing? So prepare the product to test it. So, um, yes. It is when we're going to look for different strategies, as Rodrigo says, right, to test the product. Before launch, launch, okay, to the market, because we want to know, we want to make sure that it will work. Okay, really good, Rodrigo. Okay, volunteers for number two. Why is uh, product testing important? Yeah. Okay, Gilberto. Why is testing mm -hmm. Try Why to tell your... me using your words, okay? Using your uh, own words. Do not read, do, try to uh, summarize what you have understood. Simple words. Mm -hmm. Why is important to test the product before? Uh... It's crucial to get outside product. And your product, but more you need to get to know the market. So the why do online business, my clock flashing, the why I do invest time and money. Also, in my team life, a lot of initial effort, training, seeking. Beginning 
we now see a study the company in 1999, the idea that people do Gilberto, sorry, right. sorry to interrupt, Gilberto, but I, yes. I, I don't know what is the problem, but I barely hear you, okay, and I can yes. see that you are reading, okay, and I yes. said, don't read, okay, just try to uh, answer the questions according to what you have understood, okay, de acuerdo a lo que usted entendió, que es eso? Porque es importante, okay? So, uh, uh -huh. it is not necessary that you read, okay? Why is it, is product testing important? Uh huh. One simple sentence that you can yes. tell me is that will be okay. I think why is product testing important? It's very important for new clothes uh, our customer in new customer okay good yes it is important to um to test the product right that we in order that the future um customers potential customers can uh, know the product, right? That is, that is the reason why it is important because if that is a well-known product, that will increase the sales once that you have it in the market. Okay, good. Thank you so much, uh, Gilberto. Okay, number three, how to test a product before launch market research. So what can you tell me? Volunteers that can answer that. How to test a product before launch market research. So do you remember the different ty type of test uh -huh, that we studied before? Me teacher. Yes, <clears throat> Maria Leticia, which type of test do you have? Uh, the product testing is the process of collecting feedback mm -hmm. directly from customer or potential customer about a product. Okay. Feedback can be through casual conversation, formal surveys, mm -hmm. or even in indirectly through data on clicks on an online uh, or traffic to a website. Another benefit of testing your product before launching it is that you can assess the viability of the product. Okay, excellent. Very good, Maria Leticia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Teacher. Okay, and the last question that I have, what is a prototype based product testing? Mm -hmm. Someone, volunteers? What is a prototype based product testing? Me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Pro Prototype-based product testing is a product evaluation technique that involves the creation, the creation of a model or prototype of the product before it is released to the release. market. Release. Release, release to the market. The main, mm. purpo the main purpose of this technique is to assess the feasibility, 
flexibility and effic efficacy. 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 No. Efficacy. No. Uh, Efficacy. Let me see. Efficacy. <laughs> no, no, no. Efficacy. Efficacy. You want to say right? Efficacy. Let me see. Efficacy. efficacy. And efficacy of the product before mass production. Mm -hmm. Prototypes are used to test the functional functionality, basing, and usability of the product. Prototype testing can help identify problems and errors in product design. Mm -hmm. Can identify the problems that you can have, right? So, and then you have a, you can find a resolution before the original product that you're going to sell. Okay, excellent. <coughs> Thank you so much. Efficacy. Yes, that is a correct word. Efficacy. 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 Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome, Carlos. Welcome. Uh, Hello, the rest. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Nice teacher. Nice teacher. Thank you for asking. How about okay. you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. It's raining here. What about yes. there? Is it raining too? Yes, it's raining too. Okay. Well, so the weather will be will be nice to sleep. <laughs> yes, it's <sure. laughs> Okay, good. Um well thank you so much for the ones that participated in these questions. Okay. So we're going to have a, a review of the grammar before uh work on other exercises and before the meter exam. Okay, because today we're going to have the meter exam at the end. Okay, having a review of, about ber agreement, someone that can explain me about what is ber agreement according what have been studied um, related to this grammatical point. How do you understand it? What is ber agreement? Mm -hmm. Questions, I'm sorry, uh, opinions. Or if you have questions also, we can answer that. Uh-huh. No, so in that case, I'm going to use the wheel. No, Maria Leticia already participated. So let me screen again. Oh, it says Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> come on, teacher, come on. Do you spin <laughs> again, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Tell me, you see your words. Your own words. Uh, what do you know about the agreement? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. You don't remember? I don't oh, sorry. remember. Sorry. I'm going to present <clears throat> this slide, read it, and try to remember, and then explain to me what do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> teacher, the words in the bold, uh, maybe is an example to bear agreement. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. So, so the the ball um words you said the ball ball words las letras en negritas. Uh -huh. yes. Are example of a per agreement. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. If that is true, why we we have here has. Okay. Why that is has and it is not have. Uh, yes, uh, because uh, we talk about uh, singular, maybe. Singular, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So for the reason, uh, we use has because okay. it's, it's first person teacher or? or... Yes. Or is, uh, yes, oh. Okay. Third person singular. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Uh, that is one example. Okay, why we have here are. Are. Uh, because is, the idea is plural. Is plural. Okay. Some. Mm -hmm. Some. Okay, good. Okay, really good. So that is the difference, right? <clears throat> if the subject is third person singular, so you are going to use the rules that apply for third person singular, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, if the subject is plural, Okay, you are going to apply the rules for plural subjects. Okay, in this case, the example that we have here, that is some, we know that um, uh, it is more than one, okay? Also, if we use they, we. When I use, uh, for example, this word, uh, pack, is singular, right? Or people? <laughs> people. Mm -hmm. People uh, means that it's plural because it's more than one, okay? In some cases, there are, there, are, there are scenarios that you can use for singular, right? But uh, for singular, we can use person, not people. Okay. Mm -hmm. People when I use up. pack, when we use pack, it depends on the context that you are using that. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh mm -hmm. It depends on the context because it me if if that if you means that that is uh plural, you are going to use it like plural. But if the context indicate that that is Singular, so you're going to use it singular too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see if, we, if I can provide examples. As a noun, we can say the pack is un paquete, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. So it means that uh, if you if you have like singular, just pack, mm -hmm. right, you will apply that rule as a singular. It's a singular, okay. Uh -huh. But if you if you said packs, uh, mm, let me see a pack of cigarettes. That is singular. Okay. Um. Como digo, varios paquetes. O, o only put S on the end of the pack. Mm, no, also you can use package. Package. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You are going to add A G. E package. Package. 
Mm -hmm. Also, that can be singular. Package can be singular. And if you add the S, you can, it, that will be plural. Packages. Packages. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let me see the other form is packs. If we just add S. And sure, could you put package in the meeting chat, please? Sure. Okay. It applies Thanks. for both. Look at this. Pack. <laughs> If you add the S, yes, it's packages too. Okay. Packages. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I mean, es paquetes, perdón. Pack or packs means uh, singular and plural. But also, if you add this, package also means paquete. If you add the S, that is plural too. Okay. The same. Uh -huh, you can use both. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Pack. Ah, uh, package. Package. Packages. Package. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. okay. Good. Good example. That is good. Okay. Do you have questions about a uh, agreement? Because you are going to see that in the in the exam. Questions about their agreement? Teacher, in the third sentence, it says a majority and a number take. Uh, wh which Rural. one? The yes, but uh, which one does the sense? Uh, uh... No, it is explaining here. Yeah. It says. A majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with plural nouns. Okay? Ah, okay. For example, majority of product developers, okay? This is a plural noun, developers. Mm -hmm. Refer to use blind test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's an explanation. It is an okay. explanation. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Do you have questions, additional <laughs> questions about their agreement? No? Okay, we're going to practice. We're going to practice uh, um, what is their agreement. Okay, now, do you remember the transitions words? or additions words we have in addition furthermore furthermore moreover moreover yes and more right so besides that so this is just our examples that we have but also we can have more uh connections or transitions words okay or linked words so there are different ways to call these kind of words. When we're we are going to link sentences using um this kind of word that this kind of word that are going to join, okay, van a unir las ideas. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to we are going to do a paragraph, okay before we um, work on the final, I mean, on the meter exam, we're going to write a paragraph. What we're going to do, based on the product that you have been working before, you have a lot of information about that in your, in your mind, we're going to take into account these instructions. First, we're going to describe the product, the product survey, okay? How was designed the product survey, okay? Include the main data that can be collected with the survey questions, okay? Try to remember all the questions that you have in your survey and think about what kind of data or information can be collected with that questions, okay? Uh, check grammar, punctuation, and spelling. That is really important because I'm going to check that. And also include verb agreement and transitions of addition words in your paragraph. Okay, let me send the link. Okay. 
in order you can start working on it. Try to practice the grammar points that we have been working in the unit. In the unit two. Okay, just a moment. moment. Okay. Thank you so much for the questions that you send it. Uh, Gilberto, the answers. Okay, there you have the link in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. Try to go there and start working on the paragraph. Oh no. Okay, um, let me see, let me add how many sentences you are going to include. From 10 to 15 sentences. Teacher, uh, this is individual. It is. Mm -hmm. Ah. Sorry that I didn't. Okay, let me let me add it. Yes, you are going to the do it right now. I don't have to um open rooms okay you're going to stay here just i'm going to give you 20 minutes to do it okay let me see from 8 eight thirty seven. to a 57 so you I consider that it's appropriate time, 20 minutes to write it. Yes. Yes, Sophia? Hello, this is from the last survey. Yes. That we made yesterday. Correct. 
Okay. Okay. So first you're going to describe the product survey, right? So what is the product and what kind of survey? Um, how did you design it? You're going to describe it. And at the end, you're going to include the main data that can be collected with the survey questions. What is the purpose of the questions? And what kind of information do you consider that you are going to collect with that um, survey? Uh, 13 students is missing Carlos ah uh, Carlos Robertillo Roberto. Yeah. Yes. Roberto Carlos mm -hmm. yes yes I am Carlitos you are Carlitos yes yes <laughs> be careful <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I'm sorry I know that he is Carlos too but it's, it's Robert Robert Robertillo yes Missing. Patty is missing too. Patty is not here. Tomorrow we're going to start the unit three, okay? Mm
Okay, be careful with punctuation, capitalization, okay? Mm -hmm. Give us the necessary information, Carlos. Before, Excuse me, teacher. Before information, add necessary. Okay, give us the necessary information for product launch. Give but, us the information. Give us the necessary information. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. How many sentences do we have there, Carlos? I can see just one. Because with the uh, period, you uh, end the idea. Okay. How many sentences? Excuse me, please. How many sentences do you see there? Maybe two. How do, do you identify the sentences? <clears throat> uh not to say excuse me. I, I, I don't I, I don't capture your idea. Okay. Las oraciones, las dif las uh, las ideas terminan en un punto, <coughs> ¿verdad? Todas las oraciones uh -huh. terminan con un punto. Yes. Usted, solo, usted me ha usado dos comas y al final un punto. Yo uh -huh. puedo decir que es solo una oración. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I can say that it's just one sentence, right? But it's a complex sentence. So uh -huh. try, uh -huh. try to write... Um, More detail. More detail. Mm -hmm. You can write short sentences, right? That is why um, it is necessary that you be careful with the punctuation. Okay? ¿Dónde usted cree que termina la, la idea? Ahí va el punto. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so I can say... Teacher, but in my uh -huh. case, writing sentences, I write in... A paragraph. Yes, it's a paragraph. 
Ah, okay. Es que uh -huh. you say 10, 15 sentences. No, es que la, eh, identificamos oraciones en un párrafo. Entonces, los párrafos están compuestos de oraciones. Uh, okay. So, your paragraph should include from 10 to 15 sentences. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, so in my case is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's about this paragraph. It's very oh, short. It? It's very short. Okay, lo vamos a editar. Okay. It says, the idea of the survey is to collect the information through a set of questions. Aquí le pondría yo un punto. Pensamos otra oración. You can say. Uh, the different <coughs> questions. It is missing one of you. The different questions are written in a coherent and organized ways. Way, way, I'm sorry. Based on planning, based on planning, period. Okay. And then so. Toma. The answers um, provided, the answers provided by the focus group will will include the necessary information for a product launch. Okay? And then you have, how many sentences do you have now? Uh, maybe one, two, three. Three, right? Three sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is why, try to identify where and your idea, okay, in the sentences, and then you start a new <coughs> Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. ¿Qué pasó? No se, no se actualizó. Uy, excuse me, teacher. Yo le di actualizar aquí en el, en el botón. <laughs> <laughs> ah, excuse me. Oh, you delete what I did. Okay. You deleted. <laughs> en serio. Híjole, no sabía. <laughs> Pensé que le iba a dar a su actualizar. Mm, no, it's okay. So now I already give you the example so you can you can uh, fix it. Okay, so I try. So you know that the sentences can be simple. Tenemos diferentes tipos de oraciones, right? Pueden ser simples, uh -huh. un poco más complejas. Uh -huh. Compuestas. Compuestas, uh -huh. <coughs> Hello. Hi. Sorry.
Do you need extra time? Yes. Okay, we almost have the 20 minutes. But if you need extra time, it's okay. Yes, teacher, please. Okay, Rodrigo, let me read yours. Rodrigo, the first sentence said, uh, I consider that is very long. Okay. So we had to divide that. The ideas are okay, but we had to divide uh, the different ideas that we have here. Okay. Or make it shorter. For example, it could be the main reason. Okay, objective can be uh another in another sentence, right? So the main reason for creating a survey for cash and see it uh -huh, was to know the opinion about different uh people. So period. Wait, 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 was to know the opinion, the opinion from different people, period. Different people, period, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, here, first, I think first, of all comma and how then many you can, uh -huh, then you can many, start with first of all and then you can how many pers how many persons were familiar with the seats correct mm -hmm. uh, question mark correct. and they okay. and their okay. knowledge about the taste of the product and the opinion for all their facts we ask is that okay oh. Yes, there you have three sentences. 
ओके ओके लेट मी सी लेडीज हाँ द गोल ऑफ स्टार्टिंग द प्रोडक्ट इज टू इंप्रूव Siento que la idea está corta, cortada aquí, lady. The goal of studying the product is to improve. No debería de llevar esa coma. To improve what? Okay, miss. To improve the quality of it, maybe? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Period. Then I provide the best of the best to creo que no va. No va todavía, ¿ok? Uh, ¿Puede ir al final como summary? Al final del párrafo. Period after quality. To improve the quality of it. ¿Se refiere a improve, a improve mejorar la calidad de, de qué? Del producto. The goal of studying the product is to improve the quality of it. Of it. Le borramos eso que dice then provide the best of the best to se lo quitamos the quality the quality product. Mm, yo decía uh, um, to improve the quality of it no mencionar product otra vez porque ya lo mencionamos arriba. It se refiere a el producto. Ajá. Aquí, quítale este of y póngale the, the quality. Yes. Good. I think that the survey allows us to know different point of view. Mm -hmm. Can I? Different point of view of the product. EA period. Okay, a veces in English, right? So in English or in any any language, it doesn't matter. Um, we need to go straight to the point, okay? Directo al punto que nosotros queremos decir para que el reading sea uh, clear, sea más claro, porque si vamos como uh, dando vueltas, vueltas, vueltas. Nosotros en español hablamos mucho. A veces damos muchas vueltas para llegar al mismo punto. But that can confuse the readers. Right? Puede confundir. Al final usted lee bastante y, y se queda como que ah, no entendí la, la, la idea, ¿verdad? So, it happens. Que queremos a veces decir uh, muchas cosas, pero eh, decimos como lo mismo. Ok, queremos decir una y decimos muchas cosas para llegar a ese punto. Ok, so, let me see what else. And that you must listen to the majority says because of for songs and instant are repeated. Mm, that information is not necessary, lady. There, desde ahí, also, as of repeated, is not necessary. Let me see. And then it says, the customer must be taken care of 
of the custom the customers must be taking must be taking care of because they are the ones who consume the product. Mm. take care of um no so in this case the idea it could be the customers must be let me see hmm I don't know the, how to change that. The customer should pay attention to the details, to the to the product details, probably. It sounds better to the product details because they are the ones who consume who, who consume the product. Aunque ahí estamos eh, repitiendo otra vez el producto. Ajá, the customer must pay attention to details because they are the ones who consume the product. So that sounds better. Period. Okay. Okay, try to double check what you have read, uh, what you have so far. Double check. Okay, be careful with uh, spelling, punctuation. Try to separate your ideas because that is what I am evaluating right now. Uh, also, please make sure that you write your name on it. Try to make a paragraph of these ideas, lady. Intente hacer eh, como una, um, como agregarlo después de, después de esta, después de esta última oración, trate de agregar más oraciones que responden esta pregunta, ¿ok? No es necesario escriba como number two, include the main and, and data that can be collected with the survey, no. You're going to answer that here. Remember to use the connectors words, okay? The linking words, the one that have been, we have been using, we have been studying before. Period here, lady. Consume the product. Aquí, punto. Aquí podría ser. Um, the product owner. Ok. El, el dueño del producto. Right. The product owner. What is, what are you? The product owner, owner. Must take care of. Ahora sí. Take care of. Um, people opinions okay because they are the ones that always have the reason 
Porque ellos siempre tienen la razón. Uh -huh. Yeah, try to be um, clear, specific with the ideas, okay? Let me read Nancy. It says, our survey is focused on collecting the level of customer satisfaction when consuming the product, period. Okay. It is divided into four sessions that collect, uh -huh, that collect generic information about, about our population. Okay, good. Uh -huh. As strategies, we use blind tests. Okay, be careful. It's not necessary to use capital B in this case. Blind tests and pair comparison tests. Period here. Ahí necesitamos un punto. And then we can capitalize the next word which are part of two of the sections in our questionnaire. Good. We divided our test subject for each invention, intervention. We have 20 people in the blind test and another 20 people in the pure comparison test. Good. In the questions, in the questions implemented in our questionnaire, we, we focus on whether the flavor, sweetness, and texture of our product. Okay, it's to to link in our customer. No, period onto product, and you don't need this information. Then we says we compare the traditional Salvadoran shisha with the Venezuelan shisha. Okay, the information collected is the in this questionnaire will be essential for the for launching our product. For launching our product, before a preposition, after a preposition, you add a you add ing to the verb. Hey, no necesita. No necesita este artículo. Okay, really good. That was good. Good job, Nancy. So I try to fix it with the feedback that I provided to you. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Okay, let me see who. It... Okay, it doesn't have name. Can you please write your name here? The person who brought this uh, paragraph, please write it. Write your name. Let me see, Andres. Andres, it says, my survey is very important because. Aquí no necesita coma antes del because. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, recuerde que el I siempre es capitalized, aunque no vaya a punto, pero es una regla que siempre es capitalized, okay? Because I can ask close questions to the groups of people who take the test. Different kind of question, not only closed. Different kind of questions to the Group of people who take the test, period. Punto ahí. Termina la, la idea. Furthermore, capital F, comma, after furthermore, you can install it, you can install in any cell phone besides is easy. Okay, entonces si va a usar beside, coma aquí. Besides that, besides that, is easy use for older and young people. Be careful with the spelling. 
spelling here. Furthermore, uh, the, puede usar moreover, porque ya usó furthermore antes. No repitan los, los linking words en este caso. Um, moreover, you can say, in my survey, no necesita coma aquí, porque no ha terminado la, hora, la idea. In my survey, I can collect the information that my product is that my product is innovation. Mm. I can collect the information about Innovate, my product. Yeah. Uh, I can collect the information about mm, my product innovation. Yes, I can collect the information about my product innovation. You can say that. Period. No utilice el mismo connector porque me está utilizando besides varias veces. Aquí eh, lo cambia. Also, you can use also. It, porque estamos hablando del mismo producto. It can change the communications between people. No necesita el artículo T. Between people only. Okay. Ahí les, ya hicimos como unas cinco, cuatro, cuatro, cinco oraciones. Y usted, no, ni un punto me puso. Be careful with that, okay? Be careful with punctuation. What about you, Carlos? Did you finish, Carlos? Uh, I think, teacher. How many sentences did you identify? Uh, yes, teacher, give me one second. Uh, five sentences. Mm -hmm. How many sentences I requested? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Now, um, it's okay. It doesn't matter if you if you write less than ten sentences, but if you do it correctly, okay. Okay. Okay, Rodrigo, I'm going to check yours uh, again, but let me see for Sofia. Ah, it was for Sofia, this one. Okay, it says, our product is a device. Uh-huh, it's a simple question, right? It's a simple sentence, I'm sorry, but it's complete, okay? Our product is a device, uh-huh. It is basically a read span mouse, which is available in various colors Colors, period, ahí punto, okay? Then, for example, metallic and maytons. Okay, muy bien. Also, coma, it's easy to use, to use it, okay? Punto después, it is easy to use it. And then you can use that furthermore, Okay, capital F, comma. It's have uh, charge for several hours. Mm. It's battery lasts for several hours of use, you can say. Okay. La batería, porque es la batería, ¿verdad? Que le dura varias horas. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It's battery last, le dura for uh, several hours of use. In addition, double D, double D addition, the device include warranty time, which is very convenient for customers. Customers, be careful with the spelling. Okay. The okay. survey for our product has intention to collect information about customer tastes and preferences. Tastes. Mm. Tastes. I don't know, we have to change this because it is a device. 
So customers likes and dislikes, maybe. We need to know which color. Okay, be careful the capitalization here is not necessary. We need to know which color they prefer or people prefer. Mm -hmm. Also, we can identify which are their preferences and interests according to the gender, age, etc. Okay, good. Very good using the connections word. Moreover, other features or advantages that we like to, uh -huh, that would you like to, mm, I keep be careful with the structure, okay? You like to device to have, that you like, you like the device to have. You can say, moreover, we can identify, or moreover, we can realize the different features and advantages that the device need to have, okay? So, collecting the answer, maybe we can know more about the customer, even information we have not considered. Uh -huh. So, collecting the answers, because it's plural, or collecting the information, or you can say collecting the data. Maybe, no, no lo use, porque... Okay. Ajá, le da como... Como que no le creemos. Okay, let me see. ¿Dónde estábamos? Here. Okay, collecting the data, we can know more about customers opinions we have not considered okay mm -hmm. really good so you have good ideas okay i like your ideas but you need to know how to transmit them how to transmit your ideas okay tienen que saber eso como eh, deliver, cómo entregar ustedes la idea a otras personas para que ellos puedan entender bien eh, de una forma rápida ok en, no duden qué es lo que ustedes el mensaje, qué es lo que ustedes tratan de decir but really good job so you're doing a good job just try to work a lot Siento que es la mayoría está en lo mismo en the writing uh, skill, ¿ok? Lo que necesitamos mejorar es eh, la estructura de las oraciones, eh, puntuación, capitalization, ¿ok? A veces usamos capital letters cuando no es necesario y cuando es necesario no las usamos. Um, Todo eso tenemos que tener much, poner mucha atención, ¿ok? Para que ustedes puedan ser um, buenos en writing a paragraph or any other kind of uh, document, ¿ok? Sometimes in our jobs, uh, when you work in a job that require uh, that you that is required to speak a second language, sometimes we have to communicate each other with emails or chats. So emails is more formal than chat, okay? Chat doesn't matter, but uh, anyways, you have to deliver a clear idea to the other person that is that is going to reply to you, okay? For emails will be um, more formal because in the emails, you can write complete paragraphs. Right. Or imagine that you have to write a report. Right. So you need to know how to do it, how to to construct the ideas in that report that others can understand because it is for others to read. Okay. Let me see Rolando. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, in this first one, en esta primera oración siento que no está completa. Okay, trate de completarla. Como una introducción más clara para que sepamos. Eh, um, sé que se refiere a la introduc introducción o, o launch de watch, pero eh, necesita como más información, ¿ok? No está, la, no está completa la oración. The product is comfortable and easy to use. Sí, está completa esta idea. The consumer, it's prefer the new product. Esta idea no. Le falta aquí. Tiene que ser como más clara la idea. Because the product is in induction, the color is nice. Okay, puedo valer esta. The product is easy to carry. Okay, está bien. It is very small. Okay. That is, that is better the warranty, I guess, you want to write. Be careful with the spelling. Then, then it's it better. The warranty is good. Esta otra oración mm -mm, need to be fixed. Okay, more clear. Eh, necesita una idea más clara. Then also is be, it is best to charge. No, need to be more clear. It is a cheaper, easy to buy. Okay, esta sí está clara. The consumer is satisfaction. Mm, no, it's not clear. The battery lasts 24 hours. The battery, battery, spell it here, lasts 24 hours. Okay, that one is, is, is clear. But yes, be careful with the ideas that are not clear. Okay. Okay, let me see other. Okay, going to continue with Rodrigo here. Okay, let me see Rodrigo. The main reason for cre for creating uh, antes de for que es un, una preposition después de for I'm sorry, ing birth. Okay, the main reason for creating a survey for cash seed was to know the opinion from different people. Good. First of all, uh -huh. how many persons were familiar with the seed and their knowledge about the taste of the product and the opinion for other facts that we asked? Okay. The first thing we did on the survey was ask a funny question and then continue with the main questionnaire. Good. A majority of the people commented, were familiar with the seed and agree. And agree like, and agree with the flavor, but disagree with the with the high price. Okay, you delete this, like this. Okay, and then in addition, few persons are familiar with the sugared cashew seed. Moreover, they were open to try mixed options with other seeds or maybe raisins. Okay, good, much better. Very good. Okay, uh, as you can see, it is clear, right? It's very clear. Okay, good. Who is missing? I have just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm, nine. Only nine uh, paragraphs. And I have here 15, 15 students. 
means that we are missing five of them. Okay, Gilberto, what about you? Are you still working? Yes, teacher. Uh, and I have a problem at the Andili, uh, my dish, my edition. Estoy volviendo a hacer porque se me borró la se me borró la edición. Really? Bueno, as a, an advice, you can type it in in Word in your laptop, and then just copy and paste. Okay. Por cualquier cosa okay. ahí no lo pierden. Okay. Uh, let me see. We have Carlos, we have uh, San Andres, Julio. We are missing your paragraph, Julio. Are you there? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, two minutes, please. Okay. Daniela, what about you? Dani? Estoy intentando hacerlo, pero es que está lloviendo bien fuerte donde mí. Mm. Y como que el Inter no, no va a bullita. Ok, Gaby, ¿qué es lo que This, my, my. Paragraph, I... Oh, yes, it's already here. Okay, thank yes. you so much. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it. Let me see Rolando. We already have Rolando, but we need to uh, fix it, Rolando. Maria, Maria Leticia. Okay, I have it here, Maria Leticia. Okay, good. Lady. We have it here. Rodrigo, we have it. Okay. Um, Cindy, we're missing Cindy's paragraph. Uh, she's as a listener. Okay, let me read Gavis. Uh, it says, uh, the survey is based on the opinion of children and young people between 8 and 18 years old. Okay, good. The objective is to know the use usefulness, comfort, and quality of our product, which is headphones. Good. In addition to that, the information that will be obtained is about whether or our target audience is interested in purchasing this type of hearing aids. Okay, are large sentences but are clear, good. It is more about knowing the daily use and what are the functions for which we should bet on it for sale, okay? Furthermore, these, age, these ages are important in our focus group because they are the ones that use new technologies the most. Okay, it is clear. Very good, yeah. uh, Gabby. Yeah. Can share the link to the Padlet, please? Okay. Uh, do you mean to the chat? Uh, in the in the chat in the chat of the class please it is there is in there it is yes it is it is mm -hmm. i already sent it at 8 34. Uh, in the chat or zoom please teacher oh zoom yeah okay Thank you. You're welcome. 
Let me see, Maria Leticia says, my headphone survey was available to all audiences in both genders, period, uh, Maria Leticia. Oh, let me see, genders from the age of 10. Mm. Okay. Podemos incluir esa parte también. Okay. <clears throat> I was interested in knowing what is the most important for customer when buying headphones. Mm. Mm. A key, yes, period here. Okay. As well as the use that each person will give it since there are different styles, uh -huh. period. Also, I was interested to know if headphones can cause any kind of hearing damage with prolonged use. Okay. In addition, I am interested to know what to know that the quality of the sounds and microphone is what the client needs. Mm. Mm. You can say I I am interest, interested to know uh the the what quality and sounds expectations or customers expectations como lo que lo customer espera okay de eso del okay. la quality and sound okay. Good, more clear. Okay, muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, guys, I'm going to read the other paragraph later. Um, well, thank you so much for the ones that um make an effort and write it. Okay, so it means that you are uh trying right to to improve your writing skills thank you so much so now we're going to proceed with the final exam thank you julio i can see that you already improved it okay we're going to proceed with the final exam We have it here. You're going to have the rest of the class for uh, completing this exam. The ones if you if you already did it, so you you have this time to to take a break, okay. <laughs> If you have questions, please let me know. I will be here. Any questions you may have, just let me know.
Hmm. Okay, really good. I can see that. Uh, let me see one. Two, three, four, five. Five students already completed. Very good. So you can uh, take this minute as a break. But I stay in the meeting because um it is um recorded, right? And the system make sure the minutes that you are connected. You don't have energy? How are you connected? With your cell phone?
Finish teacher. Let me see. Let me check. Yes, I can see hundred percent. Thank you. I'm going to read the ones that already are done. Okay, I have uh, <clears throat> Gabby, Robert, Maria Leticia, Rodrigo, Lady, Katy, Jose Andres, <clears throat> Gilberto. Okay, really good. So the rest is still working. <clears throat> okay, Daniela is already done. Okay. Well, thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, we're going to stay here another 10 minutes just for the the rest to finish. Teacher. So, yes? Can you check my test, please? Because I have problem. Yes, please. please. I okay. have problem with my internet. Oh, yes. I can see that it is already done. Please. Thank you so much. Yes, 100%. I can see. <clears throat> Sophia, uh, please make sure that you complete the, the section one. And two, because I can see that is 80% for each session. Okay. May I do it uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Jose Andres, you are missing one section for, okay, one part from section one. I Great finished this year. I'm going to see you right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, who let is this? Also, you are missing uh, one part of the session one. Rodrigo, you too. Yeah, are missing yeah. one part. Thank you so much. The rest, because I can see. <clears throat> That everything has been completed. Teacher, I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> really sorry. Okay, just is missing one part of the session uh, one. Uh, yes, I have a, a miss homework. I, okay. I will do. Thank you so much. I know everybody is sleepy, but we are almost done. Okay, just nine minutes and <clears throat> we're done. So I cannot end the class before it, uh, uh, completing the two hours because it's requested by Insa4 that I have the, the video for two hours exactly or more, right? But not less. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it, teacher, and I know it. <laughs> they are like, oh, a, a why? One part yeah, uh, was missing some seconds in one class, right? And they ask, why are you missing these seconds? That is why we need to be careful. <clears throat> Okay, let me refresh the scores. Okay, Cindy, you have a uh, seventy-five percent. Mauricio, <clears throat> are you working? Are you there? Buruka. 
Mauricio. Mauricio, Mauricio. Teacher, I already finished the word, the, the homework that I not missing us. Okay, good. Let me see. Yes, I can see 100%. Thank you. <clears throat> Daniela, you are missing also one part of deception one and deception two, all of them. <clears throat> Try to complete uh, them on this this uh, weekend, okay? This coming weekend. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Carlos had a problem with the energy, electricity. <laughs> Okay, good. Let me open the material that we're going to use for tomorrow on because we're going to we're going to have uh, we're going to start it with the unit three. Okay, let me see. Here we have it. <clears throat> the production line, okay, that is the, the name of the, uh, the unit. Okay, we're going to continue speaking about products, prototype, okay, and everything. More uh, definitions, terms, terminology about product, vocabulary, more grammar, Grammar will be indirect equations, uh -huh, just no equations. Okay. Good, indirect equations. Uh -huh, how to use indirect equations, information equations. <clears throat> okay, good. We're going to continue speaking about products in this unit three. If you can review the, the material in advance, so you can do it, okay? Let me check if we have more paragraphs. Gilbertus Paragua. Okay, launch the new product. Sheila Plum. That is a new product. <clears throat> it is important the satisfaction, the customers in quality. It is important the satisfaction, the customers in quality. Mm. You can say it is important to consider the customer's satisfaction. Period. I.
for that reason, you can say um, the product needs to have a good quality. Size and color, correct, and, and colors, uh -huh. and good characteristics, you can say, period. And then furthermore, capital F, furthermore, a good presentation is necessary. Mm, and easy handling and storage and easy handling and storage. This, this idea is incomplete. Tenemos que completarla, hacer una idea más completa. Y si vamos a usar otro connector, co, a punto, moreover, M, capital M, have a good price. Okay. Be careful with punctuation, Gilberto. Okay, still we need to improve that punctuation. Thank you. Peter. You're welcome. Okay, guys, um, <clears throat> I really appreciate your time, your effort, your commitment for this uh, model. Okay, thank you so much for your attention, for your time, your participation. Okay, have a good night and see you tomorrow with the unit. We're Please. going to start unit three. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. <clears throat>